Hi and welcome back to Advanced Excel Training. We are going through all the topics you need to know for the MOS Excel Expert Exam. Remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to see some more awesome Advanced Excel Training videos. In this video, we are going through the rest of Objective 3.1, Applying Functions and Formulas. We'll be going through some of Excel's statistical operations, such as sum ifs, average ifs, and count ifs. You can use the sum, average, and count functions in Excel to return the total value, the average value, and the number value for an entire range or for a specific range. But you may also want to sum, average, and count cells that meet a certain criteria. For example, you might want the total sales for just a specific area and for a specific product. Excel includes three summary functions that can be used to specify multiple criteria without using complex combinations of functions. The sum ifs function sums cells in one or more range that meet one or more criteria. To insert the sum ifs function into a formula, on the formulas tab in the functions library group, click maths and trig. Then click sum ifs to enter the arguments. In the first module, sum ifs is used to calculate total sales for flowers. Your sum range will be the total sales, which will be F3 to F35, while your range will be plant type B3 to B35, and last off, your criteria will be flowers. Let's get a bit more complicated and use two criteria. In the second model, some ifs is used to calculate the total sales for flowers sold in New York. In this one, the sum range will be F3 to F35 in the total sales column. Your first criteria range will be plant type B3 to B35 while your criteria will be flowers. Your second criteria range will be your area, which will be C3 to C35, and your criteria will be New York. Now we'll get even more complicated by using three criteria, one of which indicates a value after a certain date. In this model, sum if is used to calculate the total sales for flowers sold in New York after 2016. The sum range will be total sales, which will be F3 to F35, while the first criteria range will be plant type B3 to B35, while the criteria will be flowers. The second criteria range will be the area C3 to C35, and the criteria will be New York. The last criteria range will be the years, which will be A3 to A. 35, while the criteria will be greater than 2016. Let's check our answer by filtering the data. But first, on the formulas tab, let's go to the watch window and add cell J5 so that we can keep tabs on our sum ifs value of 43,425. Now let's filter plant type by flowers. Next let's filter area by New York. And lastly, let's filter year by going to number filters and greater than 
2016. If we highlight the remaining values, we can see in the status bar that our answer is exactly the same as the answer we got in the SUMIFS function. Now let's try the average ifs function. This function averages cells in one or more ranges that meet one or more criteria. In the following example, average ifs is used to calculate the average number of trees sold in London after 2016. On the formulas tab in the functions library group, click more functions and select statistical. Then click Average Ifs. Now you can start entering the arguments. The first one being the average range, which will be D3 to D35, which is the number sold. Your first criteria range will be your plant type, B3 to B35, while your criteria will be trees. Your second criteria range will be your area, which is C3 to C35, while your criteria will be London. And your last criteria range will be your years, which is A3 to A35, while your criteria is bigger than or greater than 2016. Our last statistical function is the count ifs function. It counts the number of times one or more ranges meet one or more criteria. In the following example, count ifs is used to count the number of times herbs and Cape Town show up together. On the formulas tab in the functions library group, you can click more functions and then select statistical. You can then choose count ifs. And now you can enter the arguments. The first range will be the plant type, which will be B3 to B35, while the criteria will be herbs. The second range will be the area, which will be C3 to C35, and the criteria will be Cape Town. Notice the answer is 3. We can also check this by filtering our data. You can filter by plant type by selecting herbs, and you can filter by area by selecting Cape Town. Notice that herbs and Cape Town only come up three times, which is the same answer we got with the count ifs function. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I hope you have a better understanding of these functions and formulas. Don't forget to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe for more awesome advanced Excel training videos. In the next video, we'll be looking up data using functions such as VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and INDEX and MATCH. I look forward to hosting you in the next video and hearing from you in the comment section below. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time. Happy Advanced Excel Training!